renewable energy, and particularly the wave energy, is very exciting. The Ocean Links projects on Maui, the, I believe that they're going to be actually in the water in late 2010, if I'm... I think that's right. That's, okay. that's correct. That, that I'm looking forward to. I want to be there when the switch is flipped to see how this, this actually works. And then you're working with Maui Electric and uh, mm -hmm. making sure that access to the grid is going to work. They've, Maui uh, Electric actually has been, uh, in fact, OceanLinks has given us feedback. It's not just our opinion, but Maui Electric is very forward thinking mm -hmm. and they've been very helpful to OceanLinks in this process. Well, that's what we need. I mean, we definitely need that. I think all of the islands actually are suitable for wave energy. I've talked to the people at EPRI, which is the um, utility-funded think tank in Stanford, California, and their conclusion is, after looking at the um, Hawaiian Islands, their conclusion is that wave energy can provide 100% or satisfy 100% of the power needs of all the neighbor islands. Not that we need to just go with a single technology, as you're saying, but it's just that the wave climate is so good and so appropriate, and they could wave energy converters could pr provide 80% of Oahu's needs. So we know that the, um, the uh, I guess the wave climate is there. We just want to encourage the wave energy companies to come here. There um, is a, another group from Australia that's going to be meeting with us. I've put together um, a group of people. You're going to be in one of the meetings. Right, and right. We're going to be talking to them. There are other inventors that have come to see me, and I've put them together with the uh, administration. And there's a lot of interest in this technology. Absolutely. In fact, uh, I was going to say, you know, we already have a significant um, set of users for wave energy in Hawaii. Uh, Hawaii is very famous for its surf. That's <laughs> tremendous use of wave energy. And we're not going to take that wave energy. We're going to let the surfers continue to Absolutely. surf. Absolutely. We have plenty of places for wave energy conversion to electricity uh, right. here in, in Hawaii. And actually, since one of those surfers uh, was President, uh, well, at that point, President elect Obama. Um, pictured at Sandy's. That's right. Uh, we want to make sure that the um, wave energy converters are far away from any surfing spots, which they would be, because that's the surfing spots, that's not the type of technology or the wave climate that the um, wave energy converters need. But could you talk a little bit about, and let me just see, I'm a co was a co-sponsor of House Bill 1464, right. and which did make it through successfully. And uh, if you could talk a little bit about what sure. that will do in relation to wave energy companies. Well, uh, one of the things that's exciting that that bill uh, has in it is uh, it really springs from the Clean Energy Initiative, working with analysts from the Department of Energy uh, within the Clean Energy Initiative and the working groups that we uh, put together. Um, one of the aspects of that that's now in that bill is renewable energy zones where mm -hmm. we would um, provide some preferential permitting and transmission as well as tax credits uh, and benefits to for, for various kinds of renewable energy but one of those is wave energy uh, we will go through and look at what the wave regimes are look at how that area is currently being used and pick appropriate areas uh, that that have a strong wave regime and that would be acceptable to the community for us to put in a, a good number of, uh, of energy machines. Um, oh, that would be really good. Yeah. Well, one of those areas we know already that's been identified is right off of the marine base in my district, off of uh, Marine Corps Base Hawaii in Kaneohe. And actually, the um, area that was selected for one of the wave energy converters uh, was below the commanding general's home. Right. Um, there's a bluff, and then down below, of course, is where it's the wave gorgeous, climate. It's a gorgeous view. Oh, yeah. absolutely, yes. absolutely. And then um, the area is relatively restricted anyway because of the marine base, so we don't run into conflicts on that. Right. So that's been located. I guess there are other areas that um, on Maui that's been identified. Um, I'm not sure if any have been identified on the Big Island. I had talked to Brennan Morioka. Director of Transportation about the concept if there are any breakwaters or, um, of that 
that are, are situated in an area where there could be a wave energy climate. Um, and then WaveGen came over and I put them together with Director Morioka to say, let's look at this because this could be something that could be integrated in any new breakwater or any repairs of a breakwater. Um, WaveGen bought Limpet, which is the company that has had the long-standing little wave energy converter on the island of Ely uh, that powers all of the homes out there. And right. it's shore-based. So right. I thought, okay, let's just see if there's something feasible here. And they've been talking. <laughs> right. And we've been involved in those discussions. And really, we've got a tremendous amount of possibilities. It's a very exciting time to be involved in wave energy in Hawaii. One thing I wonder, you know, when the wind um, energy systems first were thought of and were um, in trial stage, we had a lot of different kinds of technologies, and they were relatively expensive. Mm -hmm. And then through a period of time, I think it was probably about 15 years, that winnowed it down to being virtually one or maybe two technologies, and the cost um, dropped significantly. Kind of like with our original computers, where those were really a luxury item, and now they're just amazing with um, the lower cost and the accessibility for so many people. Um, I'm wondering with the wave energy technology, when we see the creative inventions and the different forms of technology, some with and no moving parts in the water, others with all moving parts underwater so you don't even see them, and I wonder if they're going to eventually, within, say, about a 15-year period, winnow down to maybe just one or two technologies. I think it's, uh, it's certainly possible. I think that wave energy, uh, as a former submarine officer, you know, oh, all right. I'm well <laughs> familiar with what a harsh environment the ocean mm -hmm. is. It, uh, it is an area where you really have to have well-built uh, equipment mm -hmm. for it to be able to last. And, um, you know, we uh, buoys, you know, the, the Coast Guard and other nations have been putting in buoys for a long time. So there's a lot of lessons we've learned. So applying that to uh, energy production, um, there's a lot of work that needs to be done. But I think that Hawaii is a great place to do it. I okay, found out well something. Um, actually, did you know that Hawaii is the first place that solar energy was f first commercially done? No, I didn't know that. The Mauna Resort on the Big Island was the first place. Before that, all of the solar that it was put in was, uh, was with grants. It was the first time that it had been financed by a commercial a location. Oh, so Hawaii that. has a rich tradition of being first in renewable energy and wave energy is just the next one to, to see that happen. Well so as these different technologies kind of sort out they do need a petri dish <laughs> right? and they do need a location to um, really try the different technologies so here we are. Right we have a great regime plus with the Renewable, renewable Energy Center they're gonna they have a modeling capability uh, both in terms of wave modeling and numerical modeling. Uh, they can help uh, working with the utility and working with uh, the Department of Energy on the grid integration mm -hmm. piece. So there's a lot of learning that will take place here. Uh, and there's a lot of people looking at how we can do that and set an example for other locations. 